Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in this session I'm going to be discussing chart patterns specifically ascending and descending triangles learning how to incorporate chart patterns in your trading and to recognize these patterns as you trade will improve your bottom line dramatically so as we get underway I do need to put the risk disclaimer up if you haven't read one of my risk disclaimers please pause the video there is a risk of course in trading if you're a current member and you haven't read it for a while please pause the video and reread the disclaimer just a very quick advertisement and we'll move on if you haven't already subscribed to my channel that is if you're watching uh, one of my videos for the first time or this video for the first time please subscribe and you'll be kept up to date as I release new public videos of course for my members we have exclusive and exclusive range of videos which are for members only if you visit my website you'll be able to request my free ebook the truth about day trading and most importantly for $197 you obtain all of my setups indicators for a whole range of different trading platforms and over 100 hours of online training instructions etc etc it is the most comprehensive program you'll ever come across end of advertisement let's now get into the education side of it first of all I just need to remind members that in the members area under the trading ebook section there are four or five excellent books there or reports or chart pattern examples so please visit the members area um, uh, to review the books on trading chart patterns so as you've probably heard me say on previous recordings day and swing trading is really a pattern solving exercise virtually every trading setup that we trade whether it be the t1 the t2 the 19 the t3 they're all patterns they're patterns geometric patterns that appear in the market each and every day now we'll quite often use indicators with some of those others are purely visual now when you're using or drawing in trend lines it'll make it easier for you to recognize other patterns that appear in the market such as ascending and descending triangles and as you're about to see they're very easy to learn but can be very very profitable so drawing in trend lines as you trade and learning to recognize patterns as they set up can really help you catch the big moves now developing the habit of drawing in trend lines as possible patterns as they form give you a major advantage over the majority of traders in the market what I've got there on the chart there we can see we've got a flagpole a pennant a falling wedge and what you'll notice with pennants and falling wedges you'll notice the narrowing of what we call the trading range the energy is building up and with many of these you'll have an explosive breakout so chart patterns give you a visual clue of where the market is heading when you use them in combination with technical indicators to confirm existing signals can dramatically improve the win-loss ratios now I really recommend this try to just to learn one or two of the major patterns such as ascending and descending triangles or double tops and bottoms before attempting to identify some of the more complex patterns when you look at and review uh, some of the books on patterns you'll see there's literally dozens of them and dozens of different types of formations etc so if you try to um, take them all in at once it can be a little confusing so really focus on just a couple and the ones I recommend are really the triangles and the double tops and double bottoms they're probably two of the most profitable patterns that appear in the market in basically every market every day with your trade Forex futures or stocks so chart patterns when used with common sense can give your trading an edge and an edge is all you need to make money let's now talk about very quickly drawing of trend lines because what I want you to do is as you trade is to be drawing trend lines in so technical traders use trend line lines to identify trend direction levels of support and resistance now I'm going to do a separate video on channel trading and using channels because we could easily devote um, uh, another 30 minutes just talking about channels so I'm going to do a separate video on that one but there is a right and a wrong way of drawing trend lines and this is what I recommend is that you may notice a diagram on the right there and the green circles 
if any of you have viewed my video on fractal points you'll see their actual fractal points now to make it simple a fractal point is when you have two higher candles or lower candles on either side so the ones up top here we can see we've got uh, two higher candles two high candles if you want to make drawing of trend lines and patterns very mechanical aim for the fractal points it just makes your trading very very mechanical in nature if you do that now what it comes down to is it ascending and descending triangles are really triangles and wedges combined and they're very very close together so you'll see that uh, as we um, as they narrow price action is getting tighter and tighter it's really a narrowing of the trading range and they're really continuation patterns now they don't always work out that is we say that with an ascending triangle we're expecting a break to the long side descending to the short side well it's probably 60% right but you'll quite often see it trades the other way and that's where at least if you're prepared for a breakout or you know that the energy is building you can be prepared so what you're really looking for is these key points as they come together you just want to be prepared also though that it may break out before the points actually intersect so you'll soon get used to that once you recognize them so when we see a descending or ascending triangle forming we know with a high degree of certainty that the market is building up energy for the next move or breakout the market has entered a trading range and is narrowing learning to recognize and trade these patterns in real time allows you to prepare to enter a trade well in advance if you're a day trader of course time is not on your side normally that is when you get a breakout you get a breakout and sometimes if the market has been coiling it's a very fast breakout and as I point out in the bottom slide here a high percentage of descending and ascending triangle breakouts result in an extended or explosive move so it can be very very profitable so ascending and descending triangles the ascending triangle is a variation of a symmetrical triangle ascending triangles are generally considered bullish and are most reliable when found in an uptrend the top part of a triangle appears flat while the bottom part of a triangle has an upward slant and you can see there's basically two triangles here within the one that is you can see a smaller one you've got the bigger picture and you've then got a smaller one forming now I must say also when you draw a pattern or a triangle or a double bottom or double top it really doesn't matter close enough is good enough they don't have to be perfect so just be aware of that now if we take the descending triangle it's also a variation of a symmetrical triangle it's generally considered bearish and is usually found in downtrends unlike the ascending triangle this time the bottom part of a triangle appears flat now I'm going to show you a couple of quick snapshots from uh, some charts in a moment and these um, flat areas uh, quite often they might be a pivot point or a floor um, pivot so quite often you'll see there you've come down you've bounced off the pivot tested it three or four times before finally you get a break but what you want to be aware of too at times it'll go down and test the floor pivot two or three times maybe four or five and then break to the opposite direction as well because the sellers just don't follow through but the advantage is irrespective of which direction you have the breakout you're prepared because you know the energy is building now here's an example uh, where patterns don't have to be perfect so you can see with the upper trend line heading down that there's a variance of a couple of ticks between the highs and on the low the flat trend line we can see there that extended over to the left it's within a tick so it's not perfect but you've got the formation of a triangle setting up now that was an $80 move now it just dropped $80 eight ticks this is on um, uh, CL itself then it bounced the other direct in the other direction here is one where it bounced straight away in the opposite direction so rather go to the short side which this formation generally has happened 
it bounced to the long side but you were you were prepared for it because you could see price action narrowing the energy was building and of course you're aware that you can get a breakout to either the long side or the short side so you're prepared for it here we've got a quick $100 move we can see here that we had support over one two three over seven or eight candles coming down hitting our lower trend line and we could see a narrowing of price action so what we see is a narrowing of the trading range and we're well prepared now for our members here you would have used a 34 bounce to enter this particular trade in actual fact there's a couple of opportunities there with a 34 bounce being prepared for it now it's a little bit like when you're trading floor pivots what you've got to be very cautious of is trading up against support that is shorting when you're right at support ideally you want to be buying when you're at support but this is something we teach in the day traders fast track program but I think hopefully with these patterns you're starting to get the general idea now the black dots by the way are fractal points so I have an indicator on my trade station platform that plots uh, the black dots as a fractal point and it just makes it easier when you're drawing in trend lines so you've then got wedges now wedges are a little different of course to the pennants to flag sorry to, to the pennants uh, and to the triangles but they're all similar type um, uh, the similar outcome what you can see here is they're rising and one's falling and of course pressure is building as they get closer so once again in some of the books we have on our website we go into um, uh, they go into great detail some of these various patterns so traders that's the end of this video so it was a very quick 14 minute rundown on patterns and of course we could spend hours running through these patterns so the next video I'm going to do is on trading channels and we draw channels in every day as we trade particularly on our higher time frame on our anchor chart because by drawing in a channel on our anchor chart very very quickly we can glance over to the right where we have our anchor chart situated and we can see immediately what direction the overall higher time frame is heading in so once again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do please visit my website for more information about the day traders fast track program thank you very much